Hello, hello, welcome. This is AK Daily, and I'm joined by O2 Dustin. How are you, Dustin? <laughs> I'm fine. A little anxious, but otherwise I'm hanging in there, I guess. Ugh. Oh. Already by the fact that we are in the in, in the intro scene like this, I'm already like, this feels different. <laughs> well, I do not remember this. I don't know what I was hearing, but I was hearing a little bit of echo, so we're already off to a great start with technical issues today, but... That's all right. I think we'll figure it out. So, what is our objective? We are going to try to catch all 151 Pokemon, but we're not going to do it in any, like, super serious pace. I'm just, uh, Dustin, I think this is your first time playing Pokemon in over a decade. Yeah, I've only experienced Pokemon Red, and that's when I was roughly 5-6 years old, and I'm not really fully sure if I completed or just finished the game. But yeah, it's been around 15, 16 years, and that's the only one I've played. <laughs> but the, the quick summary is, uh, we're going to go for all the Pokemon, but we're going to do it in a glitchless fashion. And so to accomplish that, we're making some modifications to the game. And then for the most part, we're not playing with any other modifications except we're tweaking the experience formula. And that's more of an experiment to make it a little bit more incentivized to switch the Pokemon we're using around instead of just having one sweeper, because that's kind of... Everyone's done that, that's kind of... You do it once, that's enough. Mm. I think specifically with this version of Pokemon, that's just too easy of an option, so it's it's more interesting if we actually get to use some a little bit of different Pokemon other than the one that is just really broken. Yeah. By the way, yeah. if there's any issues with audio or any other... If anything just like blows up, let us know, because this is all new, and we've done some testing, and we had some hiccups, and the best we could do was say, uh, uh, we'll figure it out live. So, I think we're ready to start, though. I'm just sitting on the title screen, looks like you're on the op on the new game screen almost, so let me set my options. Uh, did you set, mm -hmm. set style battle? I think that was the only other rule that we had to go by. Yeah, well, I set it to shift, or is it to set? Yeah, I go to set. The shift is the one that lets you, uh, that prompts you every time you defeat a Pokemon. Okay, got it. This, this game is a very loud game, apparently, so... Might still be too loud. Yeah, that, that's the thing that's tr troubling to balance with old Game Boy games, is that, like, I love the music, but when I'm trying to talk to someone else, it's kind of overpowering, no matter what you do. So, how, how does that sound now? I mean, the problem is also it's all high pitches because of the Game Boy's, like, sound engine, or whatever you would call it. Right. So, by, by default, you'd notice it more. <laughs> yep. In contrast to my dark uh, deep voice, I don't, I don't think I have much of, an, of a chance there to compare. <laughs> oh, we didn't talk about this. Should we... What should our, should our names just be like Daily and Dustin, and then we'll each be each other's rival, or how do you want to do that? <laughs> That's actually what I had in mind. All right. Um... You the front of that. Because right. I wanted to think of the most arrogant, selfish, and diggish person to be my rival. Yeah. So of course it has to be Daily. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't you wouldn't know it, but I uh I uh I'd like to say smell you later. Mm -hmm. Alright, looks like you jumped in, let's so let's go. Yeah, I did. I got impatient. <laughs> Is that something Blue says actually smell you later? <laughs> yep. <laughs> what is that line? I I have no idea where that came from. Okay, I'll, I guess he just sniffs the people he meets once and then he goes away. <laughs> uh, how are you going? Okay. Should I do AKD or Daily or... I could do Daily. Whatever you prefer, I'm just gonna call you Daily because I want it to be an actual name. <laughs> Alright, Daily and all, no, daily and all caps in the, in the style of the Pokemon games. Oh, is there no, no normal caps here? What is it? You, you can do lowercase, okay. but the like every every name in this game is going to be an uppercase. Oh, so it doesn't matter, actually. Good. My name shall be Dustin. Got it. And I shall be... I don't remember which one is female, actually. <laughs> this one. <laughs> uh, the one, the arrow is male, the other one's female. Damn it. <laughs> oh, the arrow's male, so I did the right option. Good. Okay. Wait, did... What? 
I, I don't get it. Don't, don't worry about it. Okay. It's, 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 too, it's too easy just to pick my normal name and nothing else, right? There you go. But just in case you, you didn't mean that you did pick the female one. I did pick the female one intentionally, yeah. Okay, just, just double checking. This is Pokemon, so gender doesn't have any significance whatsoever. It's the same with what is the difference between catching a man Pokemon and a female Pokemon. There's really none. It's the same Pokemon still. You know? Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. This is like throwing a female in front of a, a, a character who clearly is a male. <laughs> Just to mess with people. Okay. Oh, this game controls fine. That's unexpected. Visual boy that we that I've used before, right? Whenever I would use the D-pad, it would just move one tile and stop. So I had to like mash the D-pad to actually move. And this oh. one just works. So that's annoying. That's yeah. Annoying. Oh yeah, don't forget to okay. don't forget to check your uh, PC for the free potion. Ah, I have not. I always check your local computers, children. There might be a potion inside. You've heard it here. Hmm. Yeah, you never know when you'll need to uh, go on an adventure. Hmm. What for item, I guess? That is. Cool. So yeah, you guys, um... From a very little sense, we've already briefly touched upon this, but yeah, I have no experience with Pokemon server. I've seen l very little of, like, Let's Plays and, and casual streams here and there. But, uh... Essentially, the only part I do firmly recall is the beginning of this, and then everything after that is a complete blank. So, I'm gonna be needing Daily's help for a couple of segments. Yeah. And hopefully it won't become too much of a structural mess because of that. Yeah. But I well, what's gonna be interesting is when we start, anything. like right now we're gonna be doing the same thing, but then when we split up that will be more interesting, I think. Because we're gonna... You know, we're gonna try to catch all the Pokémon, but we'll have to figure out a way to divide that that task up a little bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just waiting for you to get into okay. the lab. So we uh, we chose ahead of time that uh, you're gonna get uh, Charmander, and I'm gonna get Squirtle. Uh, and the only reason why we decided it ahead of time is so that I can make the edit to put Bulbasaur in the game uh, later. It's gonna be a trade. Uh, one of the ones on Cinnamar Island. Okay. I have no idea what that is, by the way, so that doesn't really mean anything for me. <laughs> Are we gonna get any, uh... Is your chance to name, name this Pokémon if you, uh... Someone wants to redeem 250 loot boxes for my Squirtle. Is this Charmander? Of course Charmander's the first one. Okay, so Raccoon before the stream started has actually already redeemed a name for me. So what was again? Charmander was... Call it overrated. Overrated, nice. All right. <laughs> uh, well, I will say Charmander is is hard mode, kind of, but not a bad Pokemon once you get once it gets going. Mm. You want to give it a nickname, uh, Charmander? Yes. Juice Stand has. Uh, you want that? I'm gonna assume the <laughs> lowercase, like so. Okay. <laughs> No smiley face, you sure? Alright, Juice Stand has redeemed the name Juice demon. for the Squirtle. Okay. Oh, your daddy took Squirtle as well, that's fitting. Yeah, and you took Bulbasaur, can I mark that off? Can we just say that we got Bulbasaur? Oh yeah, so that we can mark- So we've got this tracker going, so let's see if I can operate this thing right. So you... With your Pokemon Blue got Charmander, and I, with my Pokemon Red, got Squirtle. We have two Pokemon. Alright, let's, mm -hmm. let's play the game. Let's check out the Pokemon. There we go, I'm just gonna mark it off immediately. My interaction menu is very tiny, so it's actually very hard for me to make up. Oh, well. You should be able to zoom it in. Or, like, stretch it out. That was a terrible start. I have to fight him. That's nice. 
I missed. Now he wants to fight. I missed my first my first attack, but then the Bulbasaur has only been growling and missing, or, and it's been failing to growl. So this is actually pretty good. Generally, what I'd like to do when I played before was like always do one status or one debuff and then lots of attacks. But I think the optimal strategy is just attack. I think that's what they do in speedruns. Does it matter if I lose this fight? No. You just don't get the experience. Okay. So you'll just be behind like 70 experience. Okay. You said that the picking Shaman was kind of like picking half mode. Yeah, the first two gems you don't have a type advantage against. In fact, uh, so the first gem is rock. And then like mm. you can kind of do okay against that because there's no rock moves against you. But then the second gem is water. So you need to get some other Pokemon that can do you get it against the, the water Pokemon? Hmm. Gotcha. Anything for missing? I guess that just means I have to capture Pokemon from the beginning so I can counterbalance it a little bit. Yeah, so the trick is you'll have... This is a game with limited resources, at least until you get to the end of the game. So you want to... When you get things like potions, you want to try to save those for when they really matter. Like, you can use them... But if you want to get, like, a lot of Pokeballs, you want to use them wisely, because there's only so many opportunities to earn money. Uh, and you don't want to, like, spend it all on potions. So anyway, let's... I'm gonna go on, move up to Viridian City. Oh, we already encountered our first Pokemon. It's a Pidgey, but I don't have any Pokeballs yet. I know, like, Pokestin is in this place already. Um... Your mom can heal your Pokemon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a little bizarre, okay. Well, uh, you, you just take a rest, right? Okay, call up health change unexpected. Okay. Yeah, that's a little... Oh, right, this right. was like one of the... I don't know if it was like one of the first games, but it made good use of swapping the pallets as you go between the areas. Hmm. I can tell I will definitely look forward to the newer generation, so we actually have like a consistent call up palette because it's messing with my perception already. <laughs> yeah, you get used to it. Yeah, I guess. Right, I did see. exactly go up in the N64, so GBA 1 not so strange to me. I have not played much of. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I played this when there was no colors, and then when the colors came out with, um... Well, I guess I was surprised to see that it was, like, already Game Boy Color compatible in the future. Like, it's like they knew. Okay, I gotta run for the rest of these battles. I'm at 6 HP. And when I would say, like, never never be afraid to run if you're trying to conserve your resources. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm reading a little bit off the chat right now. Yeah, it looks like you're already getting your uh, first unreasonable hunts, so you might have to decline that one. I forget this one. Oh, never mind, that wasn't a redemption. I thought someone was telling you to go get me out right now. I was like, nope, that's not gonna work. Uh, let's see, what am I supposed to do? Oh, I think we're supposed to go into the Pokemon Mart. One time fights trainers, okay. That is a concerning thing indeed. Is that the only way of earning money in this game? Uh, you you can find uh, things in the ground and sell them. Oh, and actually, like, if, yeah, if anyone knows like, like where the thing. hidden items are, let me know because I don't not have the guide open. Oh, but so there's so there's so not there's not that many. But like sometimes it's like you'll see like a random nook in a corner. You can like press A over it, and they're like, "Oh, you found this hidden item." <laughs> Is it replenishable? Is it just a one-time thing as well? Just a one-time thing. It, but the, the, oh, that's it. Okay. I just I I gave you that caution just so you don't like go crazy with like buying things. Uh, but for the most part, this game gives you more than enough to beat the game. Uh, so you want to head to the Pokemon Mart, and you don't want to head in the direction you're heading, by the way. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know until I try... Oh, I guess this is bad already. Oh, it's just Rattata, this is fine. Yeah, he's level 4. <laughs> one, per one perspective of Pokemon I never understood is that there's a limit to how many moves you can use. Why yeah, is that specifically? I mean, part of it's probably the hardware, but then there's like a strategic aspect too, is when you build your team, you get certain moves. I wish you could more freely swap between them. It's kind of cumbersome even in the newer generations to switch between them. And like this mm -hmm. game, it is sort of like once you forget something, 
it's forgotten. It's not coming back unless you unless you can teach it via a TM again. And that is very brutal and unforgiving. So if I unless I have a firm knowledge of the move I'm using, I can potentially screw myself up by doing that. Yep. Well, if you're, I can always advise, give you my best opinion. I'm, so my experience is like I've I haven't played Pokemon seriously in a few years, but I played a lot. And I'm certainly no expert, uh, competitive battler or anything like that, but I, I know enough to be dangerous. Mm. Now, I'm Dustin, you you are kind of a jerk. You just said uh, we, you, we can go get a town map from uh, your rival's sister. I'm going to do it just because, and then I'll probably deposit it and never use it again. So confused on what I need to do right now. Did you go into the mart? Um. I did not know. Yeah, go go in the mar. It's it's just one of those things like you're in exploration right, mode right now, and, and now they set you on a quest. Oh, okay. Interesting. What about well, like, well, we're not gonna be executing any of the glitches, sadly. So yeah. I also replaced face cam reward cancelled. Um, a lot of other rewards were cancelled with it. That's because I have a lot of them, and. Specifically because I'm streaming with someone else, I don't want to temper down with the pacing, because I'm already blind to this game, right? So if I have all these other extra rewards that make the gameplay slower, at this point I would be walking at the speed of a sloth. So that's why I've removed some of them. The face cam I've removed because it's just like, it's inconvenient for me to have to move between screens a lot and do minor editings here and there. Like, it's not the biggest waste of time, mind you, but it's just enough for me to say that this is, this is not worth doing. At least not in this type of setting. Okay. So now I can go past this guy, I guess. Um. I go past this private property. You got. Do I have to you got Oak's parcel. Him? You're supposed to take it back to Oak. Oh, that's so. <laughs> but then he gives you a very important item, so it's worth it. Okay. I'm already a firm hater of this. <laughs> Nah. I mean, from here on out, it's mostly pretty uh, unrestricted. I mean, they're, they'll they'll lock things down, but you'll always. Oh, that's not where I want to go to Daily's PC. What one, Brian? Brilliant Dynamo Shining Pro. Which one are y'all getting? Especially you, Dustin. Um. Uh, I originally well, played Pokemon like, Diamond, so if I if I do get one of the remakes, it would probably be Pearl just to mix it up. But it might also depend on what uh, the people I play it with get. Should we talk about what the plans are, like, in the future with Pokemon in general? Or is that for later? Uh, how do you mean for us, or for this? Or do you mean in general, if the series, or...? Uh, the series, the overall arching goal that we have, which isn't just Pokemon Generation 1. <laughs> yeah, so if we if we stick with this, we'll, we're gonna try to, like, apply this challenge to all Pokemon across all generations. So, right now, we're kinda keeping it confined to Generation 1, with some modifications, but if we end up doing Generation 2, and if we ever get the ability to do uh, trades, we'll do... we'll, like, get all the Pokémon legitimately. Because right now there's some modifications to get, like, Bulbasaur and Mew, and anything that needs a trade evolution. Mm. I'm gonna go talk to this old man, because he teaches you how to catch uh, Pokémon. If you tell him... If you're not in a hurry, he'll give you a, a tutorial. Okay, I think I know the premise of catching Pokemon. Is that like an enforcement or is that just an option? It's not forced. Now we're oh. we're not using glitches in the run, but it is cool to note that this old man tutorial battle actually uh, slightly causes a problem in the game. That if you uh, go to certain areas, you get some garbage data as your wild encounters, and that's how you get things like missing number. I think I distinctly remember seeing what it is about, like, one of the last gyms you just kind of surf someone and the a garbled mess of a glitch pops up on screen and fights you. <laughs> yeah, okay. and it, it has all sorts of interesting effects that, like, if you... When you encounter it, it messes with your current inventory and it sort of also doubles as an item duplication to it glitch. Uh, Dr. Warren, yeah, 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 go ahead and redeem. If you've got a Pokemon in mind, uh, you... We can combine, like, a hunt and a name or whatever. 
Mm. Alright, I'm gonna go buy some Pokeballs. Oh, we should, we should also talk about a little bit. If if they redeem a hunt Pokemon on your on your shines of things, if I should then try to collect it as well, or if it's just on your end. Um Catch a Paris later, okay. Uh that's in that's around Mount Moon, right? I don't remember I gotta it's gonna be hard for me to remember the difference between the original games and the Pokemon Yellow Pokedex, but I think that's around Mount Moon. At least initially. Mm. Yeah, I always run if you uh, think it's getting dicey. If is it is it a guaranteed escape or is, it, is there a slight chance of it failing? Slight chance of failing based on speed. Oh, okay. And Shamanda is how fast? <laughs> I mean, oh. everyone's about the same speed right now. Okay, so I guess they're also good enough. Um, yeah, I think I'll just take the run now. Ready. Let's throw the pigeon $5. It'll leave you alone then, Ash. Yep. But you, I mean, you, can, you can definitely take advantage me. of the fact that the Pokemon Centers are completely free. So mm. if you need to just run and get to a Pokemon Center, that's generally a safe approach. Um, Other question. Um, yeah. If you faint, why do you get sent to? The last Pokemon Center you visited, typically. So every time I, I get to a town, I wanted to visit a Pokemon Center immediately, essentially. Or what? Oh, sorry, I missed that. <laughs> Every time I get to a new region, I essentially just want to visit a Pokemon Center immediately, yeah. even if I don't need it. I would say you probably want to avoid dying, because you also lose half your money when you do so. And there is no bank in this game. And, and, oh, okay. I was about to say, because that would be nice if there is. And yeah, so Doc, okay. Dr. Orin has uh, requested that the Paris be named Doc with a bunch of random symbols. So I guess that's up to a creative interpretation when we get that. Uh, I'm fighting a Weedle. I'm not even fully healed. That was maybe a mistake, but... Because I don't have an antidote. <laughs> Is that something I was supposed to get as well? <laughs> you probably want to get at least one, but I think you can find some on the ground. You probably want to pick, buy some Pokeballs too. Okay. My hunting instincts can be triple top left to always on Pokeball. Interesting. Yeah, there you go, you got a Pokeball. So you know you have to... The chance of catching is based on the remaining HP of the Pokemon. Is that the only factor or is that like the, the main factor? That's the main factor. Uh, status... If they have a status ailment, it also helps. Okay. Good to know. I like the scene transitions into the Pokemon fights, like shit, everything. Like, black is out. Yeah, and, the, and that's not always the same thing. They, they mix it up a little bit. Mm, that's pretty cool, but it's time. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's crazy to think this game was made in 1995, and it's not like it pushes the Game Boy to its limit, but it makes... Like, they fit a lot on it. Like, there's not really any unused part of the cartridge, as far as I know. And they've got it all pretty well documented, and that's part of why it's so glitchy, is that they don't always succeed in... Uh, doing things in a bug-free way. But given the, given the constraints they're working with, it's a pretty impressive job. Alright, so Squirtle learned Bubble. This is not the strongest move ever, but it, good on Squirtle. And it's most importantly not a normal type attack, so if I... I basically have everything I need to beat Brock if I really wanted to, although I probably want to get a few more levels. <laughs> Alright, see ya, Doc. Thanks for the good luck. Okay. Generation 1, the game where Gust and Credit Shop are normal type moves. Okay. Yep, that's true. They, uh, they've got the whole fighting type, but then Karate Chop is normal for some reason. And then Gust, okay. they change it into a flying type move later, but for now it's still a normal move. But only only flying type Pokemon normal. use it, so it's kind of weird. Is the normal punch then a, 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 a fighting type or is the normal attack? Or is punch not a thing in this game? <laughs> uh, there's no regular punch. Uh, so just be aware that when you move on the overworld, you're gonna take damage from uh, poison. poison, and it's like every yeah. st it's like every step, I think. That is very horrible. So in 25 steps, he's dead. Yeah, maybe. It's 
you have a, you have the potion. I would. Yeah, it's not okay. It's not every step. It's like every four steps. You might want to just go back to the Pokemon Center as fast as possible. And you're going in, in the wrong direction for that. I know, but I think he's already dead at that point. So doesn't matter if he dies. I mean, there's no like enemy encounters here. Well, check your That's HP because you might want to you you might want to chug the potion to save the game over. I didn't want to toss it. No, thank you. <laughs> uh, poker face, I guess. Eh? Oh, there. One HP left. I guess he can't die from it. Uh, you no, you can. So I'm just lucky enough that he's literally on one HP, so I should definitely heal him. Use, yeah, use the potion, go back and uh, heal up. Cause, yeah, in this game you, you will definitely faint. I think they changed that in later games. Okay. So, any change the entry to Oddish now. One of the naming schemes. Got this. Uh, Survive Shaman. Yes, yeah, Doc, that's fine. This is not good at all. I think you might be dying regardless of what I do, though. Just be careful with your steps. Where's the Pokemon Center? Uh, down. Yep, to your left. <laughs> I'm, I'm watching with anticipation. There you go, you made it. Do I have to buy antidotes? Do you catch the Paris instead of Daily? Um, where do I catch a Paris Daily? <laughs> uh, later on. I'll let you know when it's yeah. time. I, I'm pretty sure it's in the second big dungeon. Or, like, mm -hmm. afterwards. You know, I should probably just well, have the guide up, because I don't have... I, I used to have, like, automatic, or, like, a deity knowledge of everything in the Pokedex and every, like, move, everything learned on everywhere you could find it. Not anymore. Yeah, what you're saying is that you've aged and you've moved past knowing one game fully. I Yes, I... I've uh, made room for other less in, less important things. Mount Moon is where Pass is located. Yeah. Yeah. I, I okay. So that's what I thought. Yeah. What did I buy just now? I bought an antidote. Okay. How many antidotes should I get? Like just one, probably. Three, I get. Yeah, they're not like one for safety, and then replace it if you need it. Huh. So like, I'm making an effort not to read the text even though I should probably because it would be helpful. Nah, it's, like it's not that important. I'm not reading the text out loud, like, I've seen it a million times, but it's it's more or less just telling you, it's like tutorial or like, sometimes there's a funny line from one of the trainers so you can pay attention at your leisure or ignore it, and for the most part, like, sometimes the humor is when, like, one trainer says one thing, and then you fight the next trainer, and they say something that's like related to what the last trainer said. But it's really oh, so not that, that important. An, so that's an actual thing they do. I thought it was just a meme that, that the Pokemon trainers just send and say random arbitrary things when starting a fight. <laughs> yeah, well, there are, there are some memorable ones. I don't know. I don't remember how many are from this game. I think the the big one is like shorts. You know, some people just talk about like what they're wearing, and they're like, "Oh, it's so comfortable to wear shorts." Sounds like, uh, okay. Let's battle. <laughs> All right. I guess I should this catch. I guess I, could, I should catch something. I hope I don't. This is not the appropriate word to be fighting something. Gets into a fight. Unironically, I hope I don't encounter Pikachu because I don't think I can catch it with my Squirtle. I need to find some other Pokemon. You try if you could. No, I would run. Oh. In fact, I'm in a safety save because I, I, the last thing I don't want to get a game over because I, I feel bad about losing money under any circumstances. That's good to know. <laughs> I, I don't have any strings attached to it because I don't know how significant it is. I mean, you told me it's significant not to die, but like... To what extent? <laughs> Level 4 Kakuna, I'm not going to catch that. Although I could. I need... We are trying to catch everything, and this way I won't have to grow a weed hole. Mm. I'm paranoid already, I'm just like going back to the Pokemon and just to heal up because I've got an HP left on Charmander. Isn't he supposed to be really good against grass types? Yeah, but only it only resists grass moves. 
So once you get, basically you're waiting to get uh, Ember when you level up, and then you'll move through all Bug Pokemon, all Grass Pokemon. Okay. Do I, should I buy potions or should I ignore that? Uh, you can have one, maybe. Like, I just, yeah, I would say favorite Pokeballs. Okay, so I can just get a couple of Pokemon ones instead. And, and also, like, to chat, like, if I ever give bad advice, like, feel free to correct me. I'm just telling you, I can only say the way I would play the game. Mm. Hey, Nightmare, thanks I for the good luck. Alright, I, I caught a, I caught a Kakuna. That's, uh, the one that's right underneath Charmander on the list. Mm. Hang on, I'll have to update it. So you got Crownly, Kakuna, and Squirtle. Yep. Right under Charmander. Got it. And Squirtle. Yeah. Um, go right-click on the Kakuna because you marked it as yours. Oh wait, did I do it backwards? No. Yeah, I did. I did mine backwards. Um, yeah. No, you had it right. Okay. And it's just gonna be confusing because I I owned Pokemon Blue. In fact, I still own Pokemon Blue. I never really played Pokemon Red, so the fact that I'm playing playing Red now is gonna throw me off so much. <laughs> And I'm the others, and I always play Pokemon Red because it's the only one I play. <laughs> and I played it once. Ugh. Oh well. I wish that like an internal memory would kick in for me the moment I started playing this, but this is all completely drawing blanks for me. Which is partially for the better, because I think that way I, I will have a more purist experience, but... Mm -hmm. This is concerning. I'm already a little bit paranoid about encounters. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, like, the, yeah, save and save often applies to, like, any old RPG, and getting through Freeing Forest is a little bit of a trek. A oh, random Pokeball. Should I start catching things in Viridian City already or in Viridian Forest? Yeah, I mean, why not? Like, if he's fine, you'll, uh, the Ryu in Pokemon Blue, Caterpie and Metapod are common, they're very uncommon for Pokemon Red. Similarly, I get Weedle and Kakuna, and they're pretty rare for you. Okay, so should I catch Caterpie then? Yeah, I think that's a good call. Okay. Well, I'm gonna scratch him and hope that he won't die immediately. Yeah, he can take he can take two hits easy. Yeah. Speed fell. Ah, okay. <laughs> Alright, this Kakuna, I guess it's just gonna be free experience. In fact, no, no reason to waste my bubbles on this. Hmm. Actually, why not? There's another one. It's item. Whoops, makes sense. Last thing used Pokeball. Instead of throwing it, he just used it and looked at it for five seconds. Okay, we got a Caterpie now. Any names we want to give a Caterpie, you guys? <laughs> but there is a random antidote on the ground in the forest. You can you can hardly miss it. Okay. Bug types in Generation 1 are the only working counters to Psychic t types. Yeah, but yeah, they don't have any good moves. Twi twin, twin Needle, I think, is the best that you can get in Nightmare Legos and Beedrill, which happens to be really weak to Psychic Pokemon. And it's not that great of a move to begin with. Side question, you can always rename um, Pokemon again, right? Yep, you can go to the name raider, so if you don't get a name now, you can... Oh, and if you leave it blank, it, it uh, will give the default name, so you don't need to type it in manually. You can just hit Start. Okay. Got it. Here's one thing I should make clear for everyone. Um, since my experience with Pokemon is practically none, right? I do appreciate all the advice I'm getting, but what you have to understand, this is from, from the shoes of someone who has literally not seen any Pokemon games in ages. So some of the advice that I'm gi being given right now already, even though it's appreciated, it doesn't necessarily help, because I'm not fully sure of what you guys are saying. <laughs> Pokemon battle? You... I guess not. Let's get the box away. I could have sworn I selected Pokeball, but it said I selected Antidote. That was weird. Is Pikachu in this, in this region? Very rarely. Yeah. I found it already. Oh, well, there you go. Um, What's your HP like? 
20. I was 25. Yeah, you should be able to get it. Oh, it does not... It cannot take any damage at all. Thundershock. Uh, you, uh, you can do Growl, and then it might Growl at you, and then reduce your attack power. Okay. Is that the thing that they just do? They emulate your moves, or...? No, it's, just, it's just one of its random moves. Hey, you're gonna say, oh, we got a, uh, so I got a Weedle, which is the one to the left of Kakuna. Hmm. He starts using Cunt from the Shrug actively. I think I have to attack him. Do you think he would survive if I attack him? It doesn't look like You that. can try chucking the Pokeball. If you, uh, it's not a guarantee, but it might work. Ah. Bring us crossed, everyone. Damn it. Was so close to me. <laughs> yeah, it was worth a shot. Um, I'm surprised it doesn't no growl. But yeah, I think I think you're correct that uh, you'll finish it if you attack. Oh, you're gonna go in for it again? Okay, okay I gotta watch I got this. It. Nice. All right, I would <laughs> I would book it to the Pokemon Center then. Have to delete your save ball. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, no, this is a good time to save too after catching a Pikachu. So how do I save? Is that something I have to do on my start menu? My emulator? No, start menu. Ah, okay. Or break like, overworld menu. Does anyone want to name this Pikachu for me? I guess not. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna go to the Pokemon Center because I'm a little low in bubbles. Uh, save. Yes. Does it save on my emulator then as well, or my save? How does that work? Um. It's, it will keep, like, a separate save file. It's different than a save state. Mm. But, we'll, like, when you boot up the game, it will know what to do. Okay, that's good to know. Because I think by the Visual Boy Advance, what I've used before, doesn't do that necessarily always. It depends on the game. Okay. I think I'm going back to the Pokemon Center now, because I need light. Yep. Right. I think that's a good call. Oh, yeah, I have to... Tip of Caterpie and Pikachu, I guess. I haven't done that yet. Have you done that already? Uh, done Cross one. Of Caterpie and Pikachu, right? I put Pikachu on. Uh, you said you got Caterpie too? Yeah, Caterpie I got as well. Okay. What is Caterpie? I guess is this one? It's, yeah, yeah the upper right. Yeah. There's another Pikachu. There's three Pikachus? I did not know that. I thought there was only one. Interesting. Oh, wait, Smash Bros. There's a Pichu. Gotcha. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm looking at the images and I'm just looking at... I'm trying to find Pikachu, right? And as I saw, there was three of them. Yeah, there's some things that look kind of similar on these tiny images, but it's the one that's uh, down into the right of Kakuna. The one that I caught. Now, the next Pokemon rename is from... Uh... It's for Pikachu, it's called Overrated Year. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that that's not, you know what, it, I, that's not even that hot of a take. Pikachu is okay. He's he's cute, he's cool looking. It's, got, uh, it's the only electric Pokemon you get for a while, but he's not super strong. I mean, he's not a Shaman, as so I agree with you. His Shaman is better. And I'm checking something on my end here. Uh -huh. Time to go to the focus and the ant heal again. Wee. So now I've got a grass, a lightning type, and a fire type, so I think I'm doing fine. Sounds like a good mix up. Yeah, I guess I gotta think if I want to use any of these Pokemon long term. Is Pikachu a good Pokemon in this game? Yeah, he, he is. Like, like I said, overrated's not the hottest take ever, but it's a good Pokemon. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, that that is a Pokemon that will serve you well against the second gym, which is Water type. Gotcha. So yeah, you, you could level Pikachu and have and be fine. I think I can. Okay, so I think I can kind of to uh, kind of through the forest now. So I'm gonna go do that. So I think from my perspective, I'm just going to keep going to level Shaman until he has Ember. 
Yep. I'm assuming that's the Nick Rustic Nikki Lance, and then I'm gonna switch to Pikachu after that. Yep, once you get Ember, Charmander is gonna be pretty good. Yeah. It's level 8, so I feel like it should be soon now. It's either 8 or 9, I forget. Yeah, Charmander is a little bit slower to grow than like Bulbasaur. Well, actually, Bulbasaur doesn't get a damaging move until level 12. I think it's Leech Seed at level 7. Right as of the instant I've mentioned this, Shaman grew to level 9, right, and learned Ember. There you go. <laughs> okay, switching Pokemons. Uh, because it's here. Pokemon, Switch, Pikachu. I remember that much at least. And then you can always decide, like, you're not going to be able to do much at level 3, so you might want to just swap in Charmander to finish things, but then let Pikachu leech the experience. Pretty okay, common so to like do. Stop, battle, switch, shaman, and then why is it keep r rinse and repeat essentially? Yep. Okay, got it. But the things I'm rooting for is like if you find like a metapod that's golden because that doesn't fight back. Okay, so they have those garbage pods. It's okay. Yep, there are, there are a few. And then Caterpie is not much of a threat either. Hmm. So this is just like a judgment call my end. I'll catch us out of Weedle. Oh yeah, if you're, fighting, if you're fighting trainers with AI, that's not gonna work. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna switch to Chum and immediately. Switch. Raw or rated female. And immediately probably getting poisoned. Oh, that wasn't poison. I guess Ember now. Yep. Nope, now that was poison. <laughs> yeah, well, unlucky. I didn't get hit at least. I didn't inflict it, but it was like perfect timing too. Oh, you didn't get poison sting. Yeah, no poison sting is like it might only be a ten percent proc. It might be thirty percent. I know it's more annoying than you want it to be. All right, so I'm out of the is forest. Is the one that doesn't fight back, or which one is it? Yeah, Kakuna does not fight back. Although this one might know poison sting, so you might want to keep feel like you might. Go on, I guess. Usually, yeah. Uh, growl at it and see what it does, because I forget if trainer Pokemon... I think they just... I don't think they get special moves, so they probably just knows Harden. Yeah, you can send out Pikachu safely. Okay, good. Then it starts using Poison Sting and Pikachu dies in one shot. <laughs> you won't die in one shot. It's not that strong. Poison Sting proc chance depends on whether anything valuable is at stake. Yeah, exactly. Just uses Harden. Oh no, <laughs> this is gonna be such a long fight. No, uh, Thundershock is not affected by Harden, it's a special move. So the special stat okay. uh, controls how much damage you do and also how much damage you take from special moves. So Harden is just literally a garbage move because it it's only works for like physical attacks, I guess. Yep, it's a, it's a, essentially a stall move. They're, it's a Pokemon that doesn't fight back. But. That's very sad, actually. Alright, this is the second time it's happened where I've like pressed A and then it's selected item below. I'm not sure what's happening there. Mm. Alright, I went ahead and caught Pidgey. Pidgey, you said? Yep. Okay. That's the one underneath um, Charizard. Underneath Charizard. This one? I guess, yeah. Maybe. Yep, uh, that's the one. Good. All right. You're building a team faster than I expected. I expect this to be like more easy going. I, I'm just <laughs> catching things that I find. I've only got the four. All right, we got anyone got a name for Pidgey? Okay. I get some money. How does that even do they ever explain thematically why people give you money for winning the battles? Is it gambling? Oh, I am poisoned. You got your antidote? Um, I don't think so. I might have. Which one? Who is poisoned right now? You. Charmander. Uh, I probably want him not to be poisoned. Though. Yeah, you can probably gun it. Out. You can probably gun it through. To be honest. Hmm. On antidote. <laughs> Oh, there you go, you got your, you got your refund. Yeah, I guess. Oh, this game. 
Alrighty, so like, how does that work? Do they, do they ever explain why you gain money for winning fights? Is it like a, is it like a gamble? Yeah, well, I think the idea is that, like, when you lose, then you give your money to the opponent, because that's why you lose your money on a game over. I don't know why you lose your money when you get a game over without a trainer fight. Maybe you... I think in the later games they say something like, you drop it in the confusion of, like, scrambling away with your fainted Pokémon or whatever. I just like to imagine that you try to bribe the Pokémon that you're facing, so it's like, please don't kill me. <laughs> uh, there have, there's certainly been comics to that uh, effect. And give us that all the NPCs, like there's nothing to do play. here, but it's I'm gonna pass the time a little bit. It's a lazy thought. Does Metapod have any interesting move? Uh, it's just like Akuna. Should I capture it or...? Uh, you can, and I caught, for the same reason I caught Kakuna, that I don't want to train up Weedle or Caterpie. So if you catch it, then you don't have to uh, train up Caterpie to evolve it. We got paralyzed. Interesting. Uh, so paralysis reduces your speed to like 25%, and then there's like a... I think it's also like a 1 in 4 chance that you will skip your turn. Mm. Okay, I think this is pretty safe to say I'm gonna cat him, that way he's literally has 1 HP left. Yeah, and paralyzed too. That's like a, a solid boost. Imagine if Metapod just came out of, it, out of all the Pokemons. The one that can't give any resistance physically gets released. Okay, Metapod is on the list as well now. Metapod. Uh, Confirmed. Where is he? I'm trying to see where he is myself. That's yeah, to it's the next one after Caterpie. There's a Caterpie. So oh, underneath here? yeah, underneath Bulbasaur. So four to three. Do you, you had a four Pokemon that you said, right? Yeah, I've got Weedle, Kakuna, Pidgey, and Squirtle. Kakuna, Pidgey, Squirtle. I don't see what was the fourth one there. Um, which one is that? Is a we Weedle's one? to the left of Kakuna, underneath Venusaur. Front of Venusaur, this one. I guess, yeah. Okay. Yep. Gotcha. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry for not knowing the names. No, no, that, that's what I, I am trying to like describe where they are on the on the chart. <laughs> Ugh. Nah, I think I'm good. Okay. Yeah, let's go explore the museum a little bit. Pokemon, but yeah. Let's do a furry. Uh, so, as far as training a Pikachu right now, it's maybe not your highest priority, because Pikachu will not be able to do anything against the gym leader either. Uh, the one coming up. But you can train it after that. I mean, it doesn't hurt to, like, at least, like, keep swapping it, right? I know that there's shake screens and everything, but, like... It yeah, it's, it's just a question if you want to train your Charmander more so that you can power through uh, Brock's gym. I don't I remember what, like, what a good level to do it at is. Do I have to get poisoned constantly? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> nice. Just give me one turn, please. Maybe that's the risk, uh, is that you can level your Pikachu up against things that don't poison you when you switch your Charmander in. Mm. Scratch. Yeah. I don't think I need end up at this point. No. Six. Yeah. Great experience. That was already it, apparently. Yeah, Nightmare's got a good Caterpie. point. Is that if you want to, if you don't want to go with Charmander, you can level up your Caterpie or your Metapod, probably your Caterpie, to uh, level 12 to get Confusion, and that goes pretty well against Brock. I would need to grind a lot to get it to level 12, then wouldn't I? Yep. I guess I'm brute forcing myself to the end of this. I don't know how far this is. Do you have a potion? I don't think I do, no. Oh, you're you're already out. You're good. Oh. <laughs> I did it, you guys. I passed the first segment of this game and I'm almost fainted. <laughs> yeah, if you do get that Butterfree with level 12, Confusion's a really good move. I guess it's something I should aim for then. If you want. Like, it, like it is a... 
a lot of work to get. So it's a question if you want to grind that up. If you grind that up, I'll grind something else up. I think I'll do this because it, it's also an evolution that comes with it, right? Yes. Yeah, so might as well. Because I have to do it sooner or later anyway. Okay, if you do that, I'll uh, go for Beedrill. Gotcha. Okay. Spiro is a good Pokemon, but maybe not for the early gems. It's just a good, it's a decent bird Pokemon. Catapai needs to be sent to first. I guess I go back to the forest to train then, or is that a better area up here somewhere? Um, I'm gonna go that grassy area right before the forest, well, like, right at the exit of the forest. That's not in the forest, but the first thing you saw on the, on the exit. Um question someone's pc who's that referring to uh that's where you store your pokemon your extra ones eventually you learn who it is i'm assuming your dad <laughs> <laughs> nope it's just some dude <laughs> that's bizarre just give you give your equivalent of a family member to just a random person that's perfectly fine was it item was item lock on um, what do you rename characters? You you have to do it with an NPC later on the game, if not for a while. Okay, so I just have to remember all the names and missions that people have. Okay, it should keep stay in your dashboard, which may or may not be obnoxious. But I only get really get seven experience from the battle. I mean, people use my shell point rewards a lot, so yeah, I just have to browse through them after the stream, I guess. It sounds like a humble brag. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what happens if I try to brute force the early gym? Would that be a good idea? Or is that is there like some precaution for like not doing it? No, if you can do it, just do it. Because then you can grind against higher level Pokemon in the next area. Hmm. Just questioning how how worthwhile it is as a as an as a prospect. I guess Ember is good for Pidgey as well, even though it's normal type. Yeah. Uh, the only things that resist fire are other fire Pokemon. I think Rock resists it. Water obviously resists it. And Dragon does. And I think that's it in this game. It's mm. a solid type. Gotcha. Pikachu would be best to Pidgey, got it. Definitely. Okay. Is that a firm reason for that, or is it just like a fun weakness that just normal types have? Oh uh, yeah, it's because it's a flying type, and electric's good in flying. Oh. I don't... I guess because lightning strikes can hit flying things easier, I, I don't know. I'm trying to think of it from a technical perspective, that sounds weird to me. Well, I think the idea is, is that... Yeah, like, you would think lightning's good against anything, but apparently it's especially good against birds in this world, so there you go. Mm. It's kind of like how I arrows are good on anything in Fire Emblem, like, arrows are good on anything, but apparently especially flying opponents. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, this sounds like a, a, a lightning in itself. The only thing that could resist that would be a rock, so yeah. So this is a cool. This is kind of cool to see the experience formula modded in action. So starting in Generation Five, the black and white games they changed how experience gain works, where it's based on your level in addition to the opponent's levels. And when I'm splitting my experience, my Weedle's getting slightly more experience because it's only level five compared to my Squirtle, which is at level ten. I didn't actually think it would uh, work that smoothly, but it's it's pretty good. It's it's more or less like a nerf to like having your strong Pokemon get over a little, but it's also like a boost to under level Pokemon. Although since I'm fighting things at like level 3 to 5, I'm, it's probably reducing my experience overall a little bit. Mm. Dumb question, is there any advantage to having a normal type? Uh, there are some good normal types. Snorlax is pretty solid. Uh, you can do I'm... just fine with a normal type. It's not the strongest, but it doesn't have that many weaknesses either. I'm gonna assume a Rattata would probably not be a good pick. You can do okay with it. It's... Like, you. there's no Pokémon that... 
won't have some use. If you're trying to be like hyper competitive, no, you would not pick Rattata. But if you say like, I like Rattata and I want to use Rattata, or someone mean picks Rattata, you can make it work. Absolutely. Okay. Oh, I just got my... I, didn't, I meant to switch out. I do have to use Pokemon Channel for robot may have gone by. I'm looking. Yeah, I do good. There we go. Sorry, yeah. Lidley. How much emphasis should I put on, like, capturing Pokemons right now, actually? Like, like, should I already start, like, capturing everything I see, or is that better to, like, wait for later? Yeah, you don't need to rush it. Just, if you see the opportunity, you could mark it off now, you don't have to worry about it later, and then, like, something the way I would approach it. It just has to do with money management, primarily, for me, really. If it's, like, good idea, just, like, spend money on, like, Pokemon oh, yeah. and skills of... Yeah, that wouldn't go over. That wouldn't go over. There's not that much stuff to catch in these first two areas, anyway. We actually did miss a couple of things that we could, could, could go back and get. I might actually go grab a Nidoran. Because in that area I told you you didn't need to go uh, right away. Is that the one that has the Nidoran? Okay. Um, would it be worth it for me to go to as well? Do I have like a different spawn there or is it also Nidoran? I think it's... If I recall correctly, one of us gets the male more commonly and the other one gets the female more commonly. Does that make a significant difference for us, like, completionist-wise? They, they, they're counted as separate Pokémon in this game. Okay, so we should go back. Yeah, we, we could. We, we can always come back later, though. It's... Mm. Yeah, I'm assuming with, like, the flying move. Whenever that happens. Yep. Yeah. Or leg it. Actually, I don't want to leg it. Just remember to have to go through the whole forest again. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do it. 